Hi everybody, it's Adele and welcome to my channel Sew for Serenity where I talk to you about my love for dressmaking my, and my journey to become a seamstress including talking about fabrics, patterns, sewing chit chat and a little bit of live chit chat thrown in there as well so if that's something that sounds of interest to you keep watching. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new here welcome and I hope you like what you see on this vlog. So today's vlog is my long-awaited So Hayley Jane unboxing um, for March. Last month, if any of you watched my unboxing for February, which I'll link the card to, I got mine the next day it was dis the next day after it was dispatched. So obviously, I think I was one of the first. So I was able to record and get my unboxing up there straight away onto YouTube. Well, this month. It was sent out on Wednesday and it's now Saturday and I just received it today and it came this morning in the post and I've had to do all my normal Saturday chores, taking my oldest children to dancing, dealing with my little baby and it's now Saturday lunchtime, she's having a nap and I've managed to jump on and film this so I've been really really like impatient and um, lots of people got their boxes on Thursday and Friday and I've seen several people uploading unboxings and I've had to just stay off um, social media basically <laughs> um, I usually spend Friday evening sewing and watching everybody's Friday sews but there's been quite a lot of un unboxings uploaded onto YouTube so I've just stayed off as much as possible um, and especially any unboxing videos. So, without further ado, let's get on with my unboxing. So to prove that it's actually not been opened, you can see it's still sealed completely. And the only reason I know it's a So Hayley Jane box is because it's got the return address of So Hayley Jane on it. So for those of you that don't know, um, So Hayley Jane subscription box is a sewing subscription service ran by Hayley. Um, and she, there's three levels of boxes. There's the mini, the classic, and the luxury, which is what I have. I have the luxury box. Um, the mini is twenty pounds. The luxury is, um, the classic is thirty five pounds, and the luxury is sixty five pounds, I think. Um, so um, I have the luxury box, and um, I've had it since November, and I just love it every single month. I've used every single fabric that I've had since it's it, since it came. Um, and although they aren't always fabrics I would choose, I love them They're all the same. So I'll talk you through what's in each box, each each level of box as we go through. Um, but without further ado, let's get on and open it. Now, February's theme was love is in the air, I think it was. So we kind of knew that that's what it was going to be because obviously it being February. Um, and then March, I'm expecting it to be kind of floral I've got a vision that the the the, the fabric's going to be something the main fabric's going to be something like cotton lawny or viscose or something light um weight that it can make a nice spring dress and I'm thinking floral um I've got in my head daffodils but I might just be completely being out there it might be completely different and and, H and Hayley doesn't always follow the traditional you know it's Christmas so it's Christmas stuff um so yeah so i'm not sure but that's kind of what my guess is and i'm thinking the fat quarters might be something maybe eastery related or flowers again i don't know but that's kind of what i'm thinking and i've got my fingers crossed that the sweet treat is cadbury's cream eggs but <laughs> it might not be so let's get on and open this i'm so excited it's unbelievable oh so looking Imagine if it wasn't the So Hayley Jane box now, I'd feel very silly. <laughs> Here we go, yes. Here it is. So the So Hayley Jane box comes in this lovely package with a big sticker on it and a seal there. So let's unbox it. Oh, I can't get into it. I'm so eager, I can't get it out. So it always has this beautiful yellow tissue paper on it. Now I'm going to try and be very strategic and take the magazine out. So the magazine this month is Spring Has Sprung. I love it. 
So that is kind of what I thought the theme would be and I'm really pleased about that. Now I have to be really careful not to read because if I read too much I'll see what the things are so in the in the box so the first page of the book always has a hello from Hayley um, and talks about the inspiration behind this month's theme she talks about a little bit about what the fabric is and yeah about what the just a summary basically of what's in the magazine so the first page is make of the month um, this month's make of the month is from Emmy, who used last summer's gingham cotton and she made the Megan Nielsen Durban jumpsuit. So that's really, really, let's get out the focus, really lovely. Quite a complex make, really, with it being a jumpsuit in, in woven with buttons to get that fit right is really, really um, clever. So that's really lovely. I love a bit of gingham. Very nice. So, yeah, basically, what, what people do that make. Um, things with the So Hayley Jane fabric, they'll either post and tag Hayley on Instagram or um, on Facebook or email Hayley with pictures of what they've made and then Hayley chooses somebody to feature each month with the make of the month and there's some really special makes in here. I think my particular favourite is the Hovia jacket by, um, the, I can't remember the lady's name but she did it in Fat Quarters and it was absolutely stunning so that was really good and then the three boxes three makes um basically esther Gemma, and um laura all get um one of the boxes and they get that ahead of time and they make something with the fabric that's in the box i'm not going to spoil that for for you yet i'll go back to that in a second so i'm not looking at this at the moment because i don't really want to see the fabric so i'll go to the classic box because i've got the luxury so Gemma used the cotton poplin from the classic box to make a nina dree so the fabric in the classic box is a floral um cotton poplin so i was right it was some kind of floral and this is in pinks it's quite um it's quite a uh, kind of modern floral i really like it um that's not my color palette um pinks and purples but i know a lot of people like that but it is gorgeous so the people in the classic box get um two and a half meters so a good amount of fabric there to make something lovely so yeah she's made the nina lee park lane dress which is beautiful Laura's got the mini box and she's used it to make the closet core celio top which is absolutely beautiful and she's I think she's used oh this is daffodil see I was right look she's got the yellow colorway which I really really like that's lovely and um, she's made this top and I think she's put some extra fabric with it because she um only has a meter so you can just see there she's put like a little bit of white cotton with it as well how beautiful is that so oh that's what she's put the yellow flowers look like daffodils yeah i had i just had this thing that there'd be daffodils so strange maybe that was like my sixth sense right fat quarter project this month is a gardening apron so this gives you an idea of what the fat quarters are or flowers and garden related fat quarters so that's beautiful what a lovely little apron that is such a good idea um so tamlin from sewing on the time she gets the fat quarters ahead of time and every month comes up with a brilliant fat quarter project i got so many fat quarters i bought loads when i first started sewing because i thought i wouldn't progress to clothes um and i've made a lot of bunting and stuff with them but apart from that and makeup bags i didn't really have many ideas so this magazine is so great for ideas to do with fat quarters um so yeah she goes you talks you through step by step how to make that project okay and then there's also um this is new this is kind of like um a spread on atelier scamit which is an indie sewing pattern brand um and there's a 10% code this month off any patterns. So that's really nice. And um, this blouse, I've seen this blouse quite a few times. Um, it's really gorgeous. Um, what's that called? 
don't know what that one's called anyway yeah that's nice and then Hayley's little links every every time she, every month she talks about what she's been watching or listening to this month and she's put lock and key which is on netflix i actually watched that i've not watched the second series yet but i watched the first series with my eldest daughter um book book that she's interested in so this book is it ends with us um and then the Marvellous Mrs Maisie, which is an Amazon Prime, which I haven't seen. And then she's also talked about her chat. So she started a YouTube, um, her new series where she she chats to people on YouTube. And this month it was Ethel and Joan. And I actually watched that. It was really, really interesting. It was lovely to see them all on Zoom chatting. Okay, and then the next, next page is the profile. So every single month she contacts one of her subscribers and she asks them a series of questions and they feature in a full page spread um, with pictures of their makes. And I've actually seen this lady on the Makers Gallery in, um, there's a Makers Facebook group for So Hayley Jane, and she's made some lovely makes. I mean, it's Amanda, and she's been subscribed to the Luxury Box since July 2021. So they just ask her things about what made you sign up and all those types of things, what are your favorite makes, etc. Then there's the pattern picks from the fold line. So they talk through a few different patterns. Maybe some are new, maybe some are old that they want to highlight. That's in there. And then the makers gallery is basically pictures of um, makes that Hayley's seen that she wants to put on there as well that she thinks. So there's a few different makes on there as well with all different types of fabrics. So that's lovely. And then at the back, it just tells you what's in the box. So in the mini box, there's one meter of cotton poplin, um, three fat quarters, Gutterman thread, a concealed zip, magazine, and a lollipop. In the classic box, there's two and a half meters of cotton poplin, four of the fat quarters, and the gift, a the haberdashery, the magazine, and a lollipop. So it's not a cream egg. That's a bit disappointing, but never mind. Maybe that will come in April. Maybe. Um, and in the lot luxury box it is a viscose lawn i was right gosh i am three and a half meters of lady McElroy viscose lawn five fat quarters a pattern from atelier scam it so i'd be interested to see what that is and then the gift the free free gift the gutterman thread a concealed zip which is the haberdashery item the magazine and the lollipop and then there's what shall i make which has like notes for inspiration etc Oh, and then um, there's some instructions on how to use the free gift that's in the box today. So let's have a look. What's it? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's the blouse. So I get the pattern and it's the, it's the Atelier Scamit blouse that I really like. I'm sure that's that blouse, isn't it? Sorry, I'm just looking now. So lovely look at that so we've got the blouse that can be turned into a sleeveless blouse or kind of like a pinafore dress how beautiful is that oh and the pattern it's got velcro that shuts the oh that's lovely never had an atelier scamet 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 i might be saying that wrong pattern before that's absolutely beautiful what a lovely pattern that is lovely. I'm so happy with that. Ew. Oh. Uh. Oh my god. Okay. I'll let Hayley off for not putting a Cadbury's cream egg in because you get two lollipops. So that's good. <laughs> so that's the sweet tree. Um, the fat quarters are floral. So they're these. I've got, I've got two of these daisy ones, which are really cute. How cute are they? Yeah, little daisies. And then this one, oh, this one's lovely. This one's really floral looking. Really cute for summer and spring. And then a yellow one. Lovely. And then the seeds one, which has got all the packets of seeds all over it. They're really, really cute like them i think my favorite because they're a bit retro are these ones i like those they would look really nice made into something with my so retro um label from so anonymous let me show you which one i'm talking about so this is my so retro so 
highlight it is too. Hang on, I'll get it focused in a sec. There we go, so retro. I think that looked really cute <laughs> in something with that, but I don't know <laughs> what that would be. Um, oh, they're really lovely. I wonder if I could make an item of clothing for Alice out of a fat quarter. If I used, if I used two of those, I wonder if I could get like a blouse or, or a top. That would look really nice with diff like a different front and back. I think that would be really lovely. Hmm. Watch this space. That might come in next month's um, Selfless Sew, so April. Right. What else have we got? So we've got a haberdashery item, which is an invisible zip, which is in like a navy colour. And then my Gutterman thread is a navy Gutterman thread. So that gives you an idea of what the colour of my fabric is going to be. Um, before I move on to the fabric, the free gift is from Generates. So Generates is by Jen Hogg, who I believe she either won or was a finalist in the um, British Sewing Bee. And she's got a company that um, sells rulers, um, sewing rulers. Um, and I knew she did these, um, these seam circles. So um, Emma off So Do Emma had just done a, her top sewing tools. And, one, and this was one of her top sewing tools. And basically what these are are little circles that you use to put a seam allowance on a pattern. Um, and they're little circles can see them on there I'm not, not focusing today my the little seam circles here and you put your pencil in and roll them along depending on what seam allowance you want so for example if you buy the fiber mood patterns out of the magazine they don't have a seam allowance included and you have to draw it on and the theory is you can just put your pencil in there in the hole there come on focus 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 Oh, doesn't want to focus today. Yeah, put your pencil in there and then roll it along the, the pattern and it will um, it will put the seam allowance on all the way around and you've got a one and a half and a one centimetre there. So that's really lovely. What a lovely little gift to have. And in the back of the magazine, there's a tutorial on how to use that as well. And I suppose if you're grading out and, and stuff like that, so that's a lovely gift as well. And then onto the fabric. Wow. I was right about it being floral. But quite a um because it's on a navy background, this is the fabric. A viscose lawn. Ooh. That is some awesome colours. What does everybody think? Let's look at the, I've got three and a half meters of this. This is stunning. gorgeous 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 what the hell am I going to make with this I absolutely love this doesn't it look nice I think it looks really it's not what colours are in my none of these the corals are in my colour palette I really like that I would never look at buying a floral really because I like different not really necessarily into florals but this is just absolutely stunning what wonderful colours I'm thinking wilder gown with it you know but I'm always saying wilder gown. I think it'd be lovely as a wilder gown. What does everybody think? I don't know. I need to have a look at what dress patterns I've got. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, the blouse would be lovely in it, wouldn't it? But I've got too much fabric really to do this blouse um, in. I'm not sure. I love this. It's really, really beautiful. I absolutely love all the colours. I think it's absolutely stunning. I love the oranges. I'm so into orange. I think it's lovely. Oh, and it's it's super soft. Viscose lawn. Last month's fabric was a lawn, cotton lawn. And um, although that was lovely to work with because it's quite stable, it really creases. So that was my first experience of, of using cotton lawn. And I found that I had to keep ironing it all the time to get a crisp look. This is a viscose lawn and it's got that lovely um, kind of heaviness. Is that kind of stability that 
the cotton lawn has but with the drape of the viscose which I really like that so I'm going to look forward to making something up with that maybe um, a couple of patterns that I've got recently I've got the spring dress by Nina Lee which um, Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door keeps talking about that might be lovely in this um, yeah that might be an idea but yeah I'll be interested to know what you guys think I should make with this ideally without a zip because I'm a bit I don't really want to do any zips but yeah any ideas for a dress that you think this would look nice on nice in um let me know because I love your ideas the amount of patterns that you introduce me to with your suggestions is just great so yeah well done Hayley I love it love it love it and I'm really glad that I get the luxury box because it really is such a luxury to get this fabric and I appreciate all the work that Hayley puts in to doing these boxes because they're just a joy they're exciting when they come they're beautifully curated and yeah I'm just very very thankful I know we pay for it but the love and care that goes into these is just just wonderful so yes thank you very very much and I can't believe that I guessed that there were like yellow daffodil flowers <laughs> in the classic box um so yeah that's all from me um now um I hope you've enjoyed my unboxing sorry it's been so late but I can't control Royal Mail, I'm afraid. Um, and yeah, uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you soon. That's all for me. Bye.